Gideon had three score and ten sons. Man had 70 sons, buddy, for he had many wives, many wives. We ain't got time to study that tonight. Very quickly, very quickly, let me say this. In the Old Testament, they were, it was common for them to have many wives. Was that God's plan and will from the beginning? No. He allowed it. We know not why things are different back then. Uh, sometimes, sometimes women would, were, had no way to support themselves. They couldn't, and they, they, all, they married this guy. He took care of all of them. That's a little weird to me, but that's the way things were back then. It was a different world. Now, they had many wives in the Old Testament. The Lord didn't condemn them for it, but he, he never, I don't think he ever, put, one, one place he told David, when David committed adultery that time, he said, look, yeah, I'll give you your wives, plural, and and da, da 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 and other things I'd give you, and you had to go get somebody else's wife. God never, I'm not endorsing this. Don't you take me out of contest. God never got mad at David when he had, he had a bunch of wives. You know when God hit him? When he touched another man's wife. Bam, buddy, you get it then. Now listen, when he comes to the New Testament, he clears it up and says one. That's why the bishop, the husband of one wife. In the Old Testament, they had a bunch. In the New Testament, you can only be married to one woman. They were married to a bunch of them. And that's why all the preachers get confused about that husband and one wife or a preacher and a deacon. And they say, well, old so-and-so has been divorced and he can, he can take up the offering and he can pay his tithes, and I, but he can never teach Sunday school and he can never be a deacon and he can never be a preacher because it said you've got to be the husband and one wife. If, it mean, if that means literally one marriage, he couldn't get married and she died. You say, well, it, no, 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 stick, don't back out. If it means one marriage, he couldn't get married if she died. And there's always people fussing about that. Preachers have no clue in the world what they're talking about. Uh, the verses against polygamy, they had multiple wives forever. And they said, look, if you're going to be a bishop, you're going to be a deacon, you can only be married to one. You say, well, I'm not a bishop or deacon. Does that mean I can have more? No. No, it sure don't. Uh, God's plan for you is to be married to one woman and you stay faithful to each other. You know what God's real plan is? One man, one woman, one lifetime. That's God's plan. And if you die at the same time, if you kick out before she does or vice versa, and you marry somebody else, she'll come back and haunt you. Uh, but uh, but you, you can marry only in the Lord, right? And you, you might get me on a lot of stuff, but you ain't going to get me on that. I mean, I'm, I've studied that stuff. I've got books on it. I can, hit, I can hit it from every angle you can think of. Uh, I've had this problem with, some, with a lot of preachers, uh, a lot of preachers who would never step foot in our church listen to me all the time, and the reason they won't is because one of their friends would fuss at them. Oh, I heard you went over Castle, and they're such a victim of peer pressure as they're like these little Protestant popes running around telling all these preachers where they can go and where they can't go. One preacher told me, he said, look, he said, I can't come to your church. But he said, I hope God blesses you. I hope you run 500. I want the blessings of God. And I thought, man, are you listening to yourself? You ain't even listening to what you're saying, buddy. You say God can be with me, but you can't. That's putting you up there pretty high, ain't it? If the Lord can hang around me, I believe it'd be all right if you did. But you know what preachers are? They're scared out of their wit somebody's going to say something. And I learned in 1982 never to do that. If God's hand's on a man, the first time I had Ruckman up at New Manor, I'm telling you, you'd have thought World War III started. They come out of the woodwork. They fussed. People, a preacher jumped on me at the post office. Some, one of our church members said, ah, he's this, he's that. He's, he brought up this marriage situation. He said, uh, people are going to quit the church. And, I, and it scared me to death. And I got sick to my stomach. And I prayed about it and prayed about it. And finally I got down and I thought, am I going to let these people tell me what to do? Or am I going to try to follow God? And I made the right decision. And that's when New Manor Choir took off. That the Parker family wound up at New Manor on account of that. That move. And I learned a big, big, as a preacher told me one time, he had me booked for revival. And I'll tell you this, and I'm going to have to hurry. He had me booked for revival, and I was going to come and preach, 
And the day before the revival, he called me and said, Brother Danny, some of my church members is fussing. Some of my church members were mad and said, if you come, they're going to they're gonna cause trouble. And I said, well, you the pastor. I'll do whatever you say. And I said, he, I said well, brother, I, if it's me, I ain't going to let them tell me what to do. I'll listen to them. I'll take advice from people. But they're not going to tell me who I can have preach and who I ain't. And uh, he said, well, I want you to come on and preach and just pray. And I come on and preach. And his son, who had been living out in sin, got right with the Lord. And you know what he told me after it was over? He said, I almost... Let a couple of church members scare me out of this. He said, I'm so glad we went in and had that meeting. And I, I can tell you story after story after story of stuff like that. There's usually somebody who starts talking and starts speaking against somebody. Well, I think, I, 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 and then it gets back to the pastor. Big mess. But at, at, we ain't got time to get into all that. Verse 31. 